Most snooker players would agree that understanding potting angles is absolutely vital if you want to play the game at a high level. But is it? And could they in fact be holding your game back? This is Break From Life. Welcome back and it's your first time watching one of our videos and it's fantastic to have you here. Sometimes potting a ball or not in snooker can simply be put down to whether or not you've selected the right potting angle. But what are potting angles and how can they have such a dramatic effect on the way you play snooker? Potting angles are just a simplified way of describing a shot in snooker and you can think about it a bit like an equation. And the first part of that equation is just the player's perspective. So the direction you want the object ball to travel in from the perspective of the line of the shot will give you the exact position you want the cue ball to strike the object ball. And once you understand exactly where the cue ball needs to go, then you suddenly have a lot less to think about when you're down playing the shot. Because here I no longer have to worry about where the red's going because I know I'm going to pot the red so long as I get the cue ball to its pre-planned location. But how do I know what angle I'm actually playing the shot at? And how would I know it is any different to any any other shot. So if I want to pop the blue here, I'm going to have to get the cue ball to here. And from my perspective, that looks like I'm hitting the blue absolutely full. But what if I wasn't straight? What if I was over here? Now, in order to pop this, I still need to get the cue ball here. This doesn't change. But from where I am now, it looks like I'm only hitting half the blue. I'm not hitting the whole thing anymore, I'm hitting the whole half the blue. And that's why this is a half ball shot. Now you can have the same shot, just the complete opposite angle. From this side, I'm hitting it half ball the other way. And of course, in between half and full ball, you have three quarter, where I'm striking three quarters of the ball in order to pot it. And of course then you've got your really thin quarter ball shots, where you're only catching the edge, just a quarter of the ball, in order to pop the blue. So you can see as I pop the colours here, the exact angle of every single shot. Obviously this is a full ball yellow, quarter ball green, three quarter ball brown, half ball blue, full ball pink, and a three quarter ball black. Oh, and of course Mark from Spill it Croatia, which is right next to Solin, so it gets a two. But what about this shot? You see, if I play the shot three-quarter ball, I miss it to this side of the pocket. But if I play it half ball, I miss it to that side of the pocket. So what now? Well obviously using quarters isn't accurate enough so we can double our accuracy and start using eighths and this is of course a five eighths shot so if we play it at exactly five eighths then we're going to pot it. If you can't play shots with these extra angles there's going to be some very basic shots you're unable to pot. And that works until you get shots like this that require even more accuracy. I think I'm playing this three sixteenths. But of course 16th isn't precise enough for every shot on the table and if you want to be that accurate then you're going to have to be able to play shots to the 128th. But as I said earlier, this is really just a simplified way of describing a shot. It can really help to do things like line up a shot exactly half ball when it falls in that exact position. But most of the time that simply won't be good enough and you'll spend far too much time working out exactly what the right angle is on the shot and exactly how to play it. And this will affect the flow of your game so badly that you won't be able to pot consistently. So it won't actually help you line shots up. However, it might be able to provide a solution to the shots you're struggling with. You see, I used to have the problem with my game that I'd miss a lot of shots, but it took me a while to recognise that they were pretty much all exactly the same angle. This sort of shot, which I'd describe as about five eighths, if it was close to this, I'd either hit it half ball or three quarter ball. And just like earlier, that meant I was definitely not going to pot it. It wasn't that I couldn't cue this shot properly, it was just I couldn't line it up right. This is how these angles can seriously help your game because it's very common for players to struggle with certain angles but be very confident with others. 
So when you're playing snooker I'd strongly advise not worrying too much about the potting angle before you play a shot. Instead, when you miss a shot, try and work out exactly what that angle was because there's a very high chance that all the shots you miss are roughly the same sort of angles, so you can know what to possibly avoid and practice later. But we definitely haven't been avoiding Adre from Perak, Malaysia. A far quicker and more precise way to get the cue ball into the right place on a shot is to just imagine your cue is passing directly through the cue ball and actually striking the red. And when the tip of your cue misses the object ball, just imagine where the side of the object ball goes. So potting angles are a good way of describing shots and how you could play them better and not so good at actually lining those shots up. But it doesn't actually mean they're entirely useless for this, you see. It can also help you out a lot with shots that come up regularly because I know if the cue ball lands roughly here and I strike exactly half the black, I know I'm going to pot it. In the same way that I know that leaving the cue ball here is a half ball blue and it's a great angle to open the reds from. And I know if I finish queuing over the middle pocket, then a black off its spot is going to be roughly 3 eighths, and I'm going to need a tracer side to help it cannon the pink. And of course everybody knows that Cohen Post is from Olst in the Netherlands. So in general, understanding potting angles won't help you pot every shot on the table, but it can help you be better prepared for shots that come up regularly, as well as help you understand what you need to do on shots you regularly miss and where you need to get the cue ball in order to remain in exact position. If you want to find out more about the best ways to line shots up in snooker, then try our video, Snooker How to Aim Basic, or if you want to know more about snooker in general, then try our video, How Stephen Hendry change snooker forever and remember don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website see you later